All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna go through how to create your custom audiences, which are going to be what we use for your retargeting, okay? This will also set us up to make our lookalikes, which we will be doing right after this when we go into the next video, of course, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. You can do this a little bit earlier. I don't recommend, so let me pull up a different data set so you see why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so this is a product that is doing okay. It's showing some promise, but I'm gonna go ahead and move it to lookalikes. We did, we done some interest testing. We spent, as you can see here, about 500 bucks on it. Uh, we lost some money with it, maybe $150, $200. But it is showing some promise. It's got uh, pretty low CPMs, really good engagement, low cost per click. Uh, so I probably need to mess with the product page, adjust the funnel a little bit. It could also just be the targeting. You know, if we go into our actual interests, we're finding that some of these are, are doing okay, like this one and cosmetics, right? So I can probably test more interests, but what I'm actually gonna do is I wanna jump into lookalikes. And the reason why is because you can see here out of the number of link clicks, we've had almost 1500 people visit the site and 1200 have actually viewed the content on the store, okay? Uh, not a lot of add to cart, so we're definitely not gonna move to that yet. But what we're first gonna do is we're gonna create our custom audience so we can retarget anyone that has visited this site. Uh, and we could also sweep purchases if we want to. So how we're gonna do this, really simple. We're gonna open up, easy way in my opinion, is we open up the ad. A lot of this is gonna be blurred out because I, I don't want you stealing all my products. So if, if you're uh, seeing the edited version, that is why. That's why everything's blurred. So once you preview the ad, I'm gonna click here. Close the ad, and then I'm going to simply use the Facebook uh, Pixel Helper Chrome extension plugin, okay? So once I click here, I'm gonna go view content, and this content ID is what we want, so I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go to back to my ads manager, close this I'm gonna go to audiences in the menu here open a new tab all right so now what I'm gonna do I've actually already created it but I just want to show you how we're gonna do it all right so I'm gonna do custom audience website uh, we'll go make sure you have the right pixel right so if you have mobile pixels I just do 180 days We'll go to the event we want. So this one's gonna be for the first step, which is view content, okay? And then you will come back later. You can do it now if you want to create the uh, custom audience for each one. So you wanna change it to content ID, paste that content ID that we copied. You wanna label it, whatever, so like ring, these, okay? Done. And while you're here, you might as well create your future ones as well. So the website, same thing, correct pixel, great, 180 days. Uh, we'll go add cart. Make sure to change this, super important, to content ID. Okay, and then the last one, we're gonna go to our initiate checkout, correct pixel, 180 days. Change URL to content ID. Okay, so now we are good to go here. Okay, so these are ready to go. I actually had them already created. I just completely forgot, uh, but you can see they actually populated. So these are the same three. I just made them again, um, but you can see they populated right here. Ah, so I actually didn't even make them right. That is a problem. So we will change this. Yeah, I, yeah, I rushed through it. Or I think I did. Well, regardless, um, we're not going to use these anyway. So we're going to use the new ones we made. So I'm going to delete these three. Just looked a little odd having all three exactly the same. Okay. So now we're going to come back to our ad account. 
you do this either in a new campaign or, or your original testing campaign, right? So we'll just do it in the testing campaign. We're going to just take any ad set. We're going to duplicate it. I'll make one to start. Usually I have to start with view content uh, retargeting until maybe my, I have a thousand add the cards at that point. Then I'll launch or 500 or a thousand add the cards. Then I'll make the add to cart uh, custom audience to retarget to, right? So the custom audience is the exact people that did that thing, right? So if we're doing add to cart custom audience, you're making an audience of people that actually add to the cart, not people similar to those people. That's gonna be the lookalikes, which we'll do in the next video to build off of this, okay? So we'll do, so you probably wanna start like 10 bucks. The problem is you're gonna, this audience is gonna be super small because it's only populating people that have done this specific action, right? So only a very small percentage of people are gonna initiate checkout or even add the cart or even, uh, you know, you'll have a pretty good size of people that have gone to the page. But the thing is, you don't want to spend like a hundred bucks a day unless you're scaling at $10,000 a day or more, right? So it's like the rule of thumb is you want it to be maybe like five to 10% of your actual budget. Roughly, I do 10 bucks to start. As I scale up, I'll bump this to like 15 to 20, maybe 30 or 40 eventually, okay? And then to add the cart, we'll maybe work and start out at five or 10, and then I'll bump it to 10 to 15, 15 to 20, right? Maybe up to 30. Initiate checkout is gonna be a little bit more of a smaller scale. And then obviously there's no point in really retargeting people that have already bought unless you're trying to get them to buy again. We'll just start this at 10 bucks a day. We're spending, uh, spend about 100, maybe 100 bucks, 150 bucks now. Um, but five to 10 would be fine. I'm gonna start it right away. Here, I'm going to remove the interest. So you want it empty. The reason I duplicate is because I have the post IDs already set up. And I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna find my ring VC. I'm gonna change this to VCRT, so I know it's retargeting, okay? And then I'm gonna publish. Now, a couple options here. You can get fancy with your retargeting messaging. A lot of times just running the same freaking ad at that same audience works really well, right? So like if I was to pull up another one of my products I'm running right now, I'm making like $5, $10 purchases on like a $60 item because right now that retargeting ad just, it works, it gets people back and then they buy it, right? But now within this campaign, I have this running, okay? And the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna make make my, I could make my add to cart one right now if I wanted to, but this is a little bit newer, so I probably am not gonna rush into it. We only have 61 add to carts. Probably wanna get to that like 500 add to cart mark, or if it's a higher price item, maybe 250 mark, right? So if you're selling something cheap, you're gonna get a lot more event fires faster because it's, it's a lower, lower barrier of entry, right? If you're selling something for 10 or $15, you're gonna get a lot more people add to the cart than something you're selling for $150, okay? So I'm not gonna rush into the add of carts, but just you wanna pay attention to your data, and then one of the times right, then you move into the next thing, okay? So that is it for setting up retargeting. Very simple, it's going right now. It should be through super quick because it's using the same post IDs, and hopefully we'll start seeing some pretty you know, cheap three to ten dollar purchases coming in pretty consistently. Hopefully this product also takes off. I need to do a little bit more work on the funnel to get our average order value up, maybe get the, the cost of purchase down some. But that's it for now, guys. Uh, put this to work. And then as you see more data coming in, that's when you repeat the process with your, your custom audiences to use for retargeting with your initial checkout and your ad carts. But then you want to probably put those live once you get over that 250 to 500 event fire mark, right? So like I said, I'm only at 61 add the carts and 27 checkouts. I've got a long way to go, but maybe in like a week or two, depending how this scales up, if it scales up or if it just dies off, then I'll go ahead and create the uh, add the cart and initiate checkout uh, ad sets to start retargeting those as well. All right, and you could also create one for the purchase event as well and exclude it if you want to. I just leave it running. I let Facebook optimize for people that have not purchased yet. Thank you.